Hello everyone. So today I'm going to solve question G of code for this round 835. So the question name is Selvig's favorite problem. So first of all, let's see what we have given in the question. So we have given a weighted tree and we have given two vertex A and B. Let's say this is our vertex A and this is our vertex B. And we have to go from vertex A to vertex B and we can move from a vertex to its neighbor only and we can teleport at most once at any point of time to any vertex except B okay and there is one more condition that is we can enter the uh, vertex B only if the zone of all the weights in the path to B is zero if there is any such path we satisfy all these condition then we have to print yes otherwise no so let's say I have uh, this vertex as A and this vertex as B and I have to go from A to B then I'll choose this path and reach to this one and after that I uh, teleport to this vertex and reach to B such that zero of all these weights become equals to zero okay so in this case this will be one of the possible paths so here what I have done is I started uh, a path from A and a path from B and joined these two paths so it become the path from A to B okay so I will use this logic to solve this question so to solve this question you should know two concept the first one is there is only one path between every two uh, vertex in a tree and second one is the zone of a number with itself is equals to zero so what I'll do is I will start a DFS from vertex A and find the zone between A and every other vertex and store it in a array list named distance A. Array list is like a vector in C++. Okay. Similarly, I will start a DFS from a vertex B and store all the uh, zone between B and all other nodes in array list name distance b after that i will check if there is any zone which is common in both if there is any zone which is common in both then our answer will be yes otherwise no because we here we have seen that zone of same number is zero okay so this is overall approach for this question so let's see the code for same so this is code in java here you can see that here I have created a tree after that I have created a distance A and distance B array list and after that I am calling a DFS from vertex A and I have passed adjacency list visited array and this is starting vertex and this B is blockage let's see why I have sent this B while uh, starting DFS from uh, vertex A you should keep in mind that this DFS shouldn't cross this B okay that's why I have uh, sent this B as a blockage after that you can see that I am calling another DFS from vertex B okay and one thing you can notice is that here I am adding a zero in distance A array list let's see why I am adding this zero in distance A there can be a possibility that I started a DFS from B and it reached to vertex A directly in such a way that zor becomes zero so to handle this case I have added a zero in distance A array list okay after that I am sorting distance A array list 
and after that I am uh, traveling over distance B array list and checking if any element in distance B array list is same with distance A array list or not. To search in distance A array list I am using binary search here. Okay, if there is any element which is common in both then I am printing yes otherwise I am printing no. If we talk of time complexity then this sorting is of n log n and here in this loop this outer loop is of o of n complexity and this inner loop is of log of n complexity. So overall time complexity for this loop will be n log n and overall time complexity for this code will also be n log n. So this is all for today. I'll see you in the next one.